this is feet and look at this so I'm showing my face I I'm actually uncomfortable in front of the camera I am normally the one behind the camera and so but I thought I would actually bite the bullet and show my face so you can see me and I'm as nervous as you can get okay so um, today's date is the 2nd of April Tuesday it's 10 to 8 I've been home for 20 minutes I think approximately 20 30 minutes I've made a coffee and this is my third time count it third time of trying to record this so that's the uh, that's how I feel about uh, being in front of a camera um, I'm actually I'm I, I know I should be looking at the lens um, at, but I'm just I'm just struggling to even look at the lens so that's how uh, how much it how uncomfortable I am but I need to get past that um, but okay so this is what I look like when I come off night shift stunning look isn't it um, there's no um, I don't wear makeup I very rarely make wear makeup so I, won't, I don't even wear it to work sorry um, I'm trying to enjoy a coffee uh, I've got I suppose in about three hours I will be heading to bed so I can get some sleep before I go to night shift um, so just an update on where I stand for the week so far I uploaded on I did Friday the 29th of March and that was a struggle to do but I got it done Friday Saturday Sunday I actually so I'm in training at the moment but Friday Saturday Sunday is day shift and day shift is more taxing um, how do I put it? it it's just it is more taxing on the mind and the body not too much but more on the mind so when you get home it, it's yeah you're, you're tired because you are so focused on your job because it's such a a high risk job where basically you do what you can to prevent anyone from being harmed um, yeah it's quite daunting when you stop and think about what 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 can happen and with being in training you are being you don't 100% you're not fully confident so you've got to the idea of training is learn the area while, and while you're learning you're trying to take in as much as I can and there we go Bo's running around already <laughs> Not happy, something's going on out there. We've got builders across the road from us, not directly across, but across and diagonal a bit. And um, he can see them, so he wants to let them know that he's there. And he's huffing about it. Okay, so yeah, I was. Been exhausted, been a bit tired, so I haven't done that much. A little bit of diamond painting. I tried to jump into some of the um, live DP a thons. Um, basically, I, I struggled to get into them because of um, work and exhaustion. I actually did want to get in and join in, but a few things got in the way and yeah I couldn't couldn't get organized in time you know I had to go to Sydney oh come on buddy come on hang on I'll see if I can get him on the camera Bo come on up come on come here come here oh, I don't even see him there he is he's so dark you can't see him at night time but you can hear him. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I wanted to do the deep, get into the DP a thon, but I couldn't get organised enough. And I was in Sydney with um, my partner due to his um, sister passing away. 
Um, okay, so that's that's that side of it. Um, what else have I done? Yesterday I prepped canvas for um, my next acrylic pour over top of that. So what I am going to be doing is, um, what I have done so far is I have painted the canvas, I've taped it and I've cut the DP out, so DP to fit. Um, my next stage is on that is to actually glue my diamond painting onto the canvas, let that dry, it won't take long, and then do the pour on it, do my first pour on it. And if I, once I get off here, I will actually get to and try and do those stages this morning uh, and record them and um, try and get I'll try and get the acrylic on on the first pour today and fingers crossed it'll go better than um, better than the, the, the my, my trial so we'll see how that goes so I will leave it there um, I'm going to go and get this next step done of my acrylic coverage of diamond painting and I will talk to you make recording in a couple of days see how I feel um, might be my face might be my hands only who knows what I'll do but um, I finally bit the bullet and I've shown my face so um, one thing I will say I don't know whether uh, ginger ginger subscribes to my channel but she has challenged me for the face mask challenge I will be doing that um, I will probably be oh, doing that this week so we'll uh, see how we go I gotta go find a diamond I've got a diamond mask <laughs> diamond painting on the brain um, I've got to go and find myself for a mask and for what I've seen so far the charcoal mask is the one that hurts more so I'm going to do the charcoal mask so um, maybe that'll be up before I get here and maybe you're going to be laughing at me going ha 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 it did hurt or what were you talking about and so yeah I will um, talk to you next time okay so today is Friday the 5th of April half past one in the afternoon um, Nathan came home from work yesterday and he was he turned around and said oh, I'm not working till Monday so Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week and he is home so my opportunity to record stuff is from this big to this big because I have to wait till he's out excuse the uh, nightmare over here what have I achieved so far done a bit more of the uh, leopard I have now done the second coat of acrylic on my 30 by 40 leopard so hopefully that will be the Sunday I should be able to finalize that Sunday or Monday finalize that um, because at the moment it's still setting so I only did that this morning. It's about a 36 to 72 hour cure time. So um, 24 hours. I know whether it's whether I need to do another coat. Uh, but we'll go from there. Um, I attempted to do a paperweight. So a square paperweight uh, with resin. Massive flop massive flop and that's all because I am so bloody impatient so I've got some learnings out of that I didn't post it um, so we're working I'll, I'll have another go at doing that um, what else have I done oh I've watched I've uh, watched 
Steph's uh, live today and I've got a fair chunk of my current DP done and I will see if I can lift it up. I'm actually on, oops, there we go. Actually no, I'll just put that back. I'm working on an easel. So I am now working on my, yeah, which way is the right way up? There's the right way up. So I'm working on him, my panther. So working on that one now. Uh, I should have a lot more done by the end of the week. Well, Friday is my when I plan to do my next uh, end of this vlog. I'll just put this back on. So yeah, a uh, couple of things I've done still going. So we'll see what happens. Um, oh, I did do the face mask challenge and it didn't hurt. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, so if anybody else gets a face mask challenge, I've get, if you go back and look at my video of that, you'll know the good one to get because it doesn't hurt. Um, I will admit though I did uh, remove a little bit of fuzz with the nair. So possibly that there wasn't any any fuzz, slight fuzz of facial hair that may have saved the paint. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at now. Just a little quick check in. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of the day diamond painting. Um, I didn't do any diamond painting yesterday, so um, I've actually had quite a few days where I haven't done any diamond painting. And I've sat down this morning and I'm doing it, and I am relaxing again. What else? What else? Oh, I do have something big for me. I, when I first started diamond painting, I, the very first, absolute very first person that I um, watched is, oh, come on, there we go, was Studio Sam. So Studio Sam, oh, she sent me um, a, a, a message on my art resume, the very first one I did, um, saying thanks so much for sharing this, I'm going to try this next. And I sent a message back to her, the first YouTube clip I watched on YouTube was your top 10 tips for diamond painting. Um, so when I saw that message came through, I was like, oh, you know, that's... Um, I don't know whether Sam's a big, she, she has, I haven't seen a post much lately. Um, she did do one with um, ceiling diamond paintings. So maybe this is why she was interested in this um, video that I did. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, she, what that very first YouTube clip that I watched um, gave me so much information. And if I hadn't have seen that, I probably would have struggled a lot more. Um, she just made it so much easier. And even before, so like my test peak, my first one, I didn't use a light pad. I had a lamp directly over top to be able to see. And her YouTube clips sends around the states about using a light. So it does the, you know, the essential, if you put, peel the cover back and put it back down, it's how you flat she did say about the light, the like getting the light pad underneath. So before I even received a diamond painting from China Mail, I brought a light pad and loved it. So I haven't, I think I've done one, no, two diamond paintings without a light pad. Um, so that's, she set me on the right path, the right path with a light pad. And she, yeah, she was really good, really good. Um, and by the sound of her, I think she's Aussie. I haven't dug too much into it because she does a quite a lot of different crafts. Um, but I didn't, she's um, painting, she's origami. Um, what else have we seen? She did paint by numbers. But she went two months, about two months ago was the last post and then she did her ceiling painting which was only a week ago so she's been not been on YouTube for a little while 
So, but yeah, I was, um, there's only a couple of people you get excited about you trip about subscribing to your YouTube clips. And when you actually find that somebody that you watched right at the beginning, that was so helpful, um, that was absolute excitement. I mean, I've got some other brilliant YouTubers, you know, like I've got Siturista, I've got Diamond Pain by Donny, um, Mrs. Coffee, Rachel Ray, and so many others. Um, but for the very first person that I watched on YouTube for Diamond Painting, she's actually liked my thing, she's commented on one of my clips, and um, yeah, what can I say? It was just really exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll leave that there, and I'll probably do another clip in a couple of days when Nathan's out of the house. <laughs> So today's the 10th of April. I've shown my face a total of three times on camera now. Um, two of those were earlier vlogs. And I was just losing track of where I'm at. And uh, the other one is the face mask challenge. So since I did the face mask challenge, maybe I should put two glasses on here. Since I did the face mask challenge, I have also done the resin on uh, the diamond painting on the leopard, which came out beautifully. Uh, people have already commented on that one. Uh, what else did I put out? Oh, the lion family that I got from diamond painting 911. So that Diamond Painting 911, I went and looked at them after I got their DMC book off Amazon. And that was a frustration in getting it because I had to chase it up and they had to resend another one. And that second one they resent was, uh, well, you saw the, if you've seen the clip, was not in a uh, good condition and I had to work with it. I did send them an email saying that I wasn't happy with it. And haven't heard from them, and that was you know six, no, uh, oh, four or five days ago. Yeah, not that long ago. But you'd expect a resp response within forty-eight hours. So yeah, um, but you've seen that. That's work. That you've seen me use the hair dryer method now. So I've, I have mentioned it. I think on other YouTube channels. Um, no, no, actually no. I haven't put put on comments on YouTube channels. But on Facebook, some people say, how do you straighten your canvases? I'm always saying, like, I use a hairdryer. Um, I haven't had any horrendous, absolutely horrendous ones. Um, that one I just got, that lion family that I got, that's the worst I've ever received. So I've been lucky. Um, but I use the hairdryer method on that one. Okay, that's it for the H's. Um, tell you, today is Wednesday the 10th of April. I, my last vlog was five days ago, the 5th of April. Um, what else have I done since then? Oh, <laughs> I had an epic fail, absolute epic fail. I tried to do a paperweight. A resin paper weight with um, chili plants, uh, chilies in it. Uh, major flop to the degree where I just threw the mould out and all in the bin. <laughs> yeah, not impressed with that one. I've got to do a lot more, a lot more um, investigating on getting that right. But uh, and so I haven't been able to do any vlogs because Nathan's been home. And I won't do them when he's here because I don't like those sounds coming from him when they are not on the camera. I can deal with them personally, but not out in public. Um, what else have I done? Oh, big news on the work front for me. I did my qualifications for my second board. So two days of assessments and questions and, and stuff. And passed 
which means I'm qualified to run a second board or a sec second section of uh, the train network. So yay, no longer under training, which means my nights aren't, well my, my shifts aren't, uh, they're still stressful, um, but the, how do I put, put it, when you, when you are being trained and you have an hour with an outer radio call, because where I'm being trained on is a quiet area, has very, very quiet times. So, so you have some interesting conversations with people, with your trainers, or you have some not so very interesting conversations, and you just have to accept, I'm one of these people that everybody has their own belief and you don't downplay their beliefs, you just leave them have their beliefs and keep your own um, big believer in that. So having to bite your tongue and not say stuff because somebody believes something and it, it, it is into something is, is very hard. But that goes two ways. That goes on along the lines of also for me. If I'm, you know, I love doing my diamond painting, but you know, not everybody at work wants to, well, not many at work want to know about it. So, you know, you just, you just got to learn when to talk about stuff and when not to, but when you're in training and you've got an hour without a radio call, there's got to be some form of conversation with the people you're working with and being trained by. So, uh, it's interesting when you have someone that gets into all the uh, conspiracy theories um, because to have some of those conversations actually, I don't know, showed my theory, my theory came up in it as well, my beliefs came up in it as well, because, you know, where I've been. Um, so that was interesting. But, yay, passed, qualified, I'm on night shift tonight. Um, I've done two, three hours solo so far, but tonight will be my first full shifts, full shift. And going by the roster, I'll be work. I'm on the board from quarter past six till just after midnight. So I'll be on the board for six more than six hours straight there uh, for the first time six hours straight. So yeah, it's a long stint without a break. But um, yeah, that's okay. Can deal with it. Can live with that. Just happy to be flying solo. Um, what else? Well, yeah, Nathan's been home. <laughs> He's got a late night tonight. He's not home till about 10 o'clock tonight. And which means he didn't leave till about 20 minutes ago. So yet again, I wasn't able to record until he left. Um, but tomorrow I am going to uh, do a live video tomorrow morning and the plan what I'm planning to do with that is a seascape on a board or an ocean a beach scape on a round board with resin so we'll see how that goes and how that turns out um, it's not like um, diamond painting lives where the lives can go for hours um, the poor the, 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 it should only go for about half an hour if that because you actually have the um, working time with the resin is not very very long you've only got about half an hour 45 minutes to half an hour of working time so that's going to be tomorrow's attempt, so that's Thursday, and then on Friday, um, Friday is my last day of the fortnight, and then I'll do my finishing off vlog, and actually do the good old show and tell of what I've done, and um, respond back to 
all of uh, the people that have made comments on my videos. Oh, that's something else. My, my, I did a whip and chat South Africa on um, the day that we went to Kruger National Park. And while I was actually doing that, it was pretty, I was like thinking about it going, at the very beginning I thought, you know, I'd love to share it. And then it was like, well, bugger it. I'll throw in the video so you can actually see um, some of what we saw. Uh, being fully aware that not everyone is fortunate enough to actually experience something like that. And this is, you know, not professional fo photography or video footage. It's more that the average everyday person or um, I don't know how to put it not an average everyday person but just how someone that just shoots hits the record button and just records away with the video and what you get is what you get there's no fancy lighting or anything like that it's just done with a simple camera so oh, hopefully you enjoyed that and some of the comments I've had people seem to have thought enjoyed it so um, that one's upside down. Don't you hate that? That's why I normally have a light behind me when I'm working so I can see the shine on the drills. Even with glasses on, I still need to do it. Um, so what else? This is just more of just a little short clip. Um, my ending vlog will be obviously a bit bigger. Got a bit done on a few few more different diamond paintings. Um, so yeah, um, I will talk to you on Friday. Okay, so today is Friday, the twelfth of April. Uh, on my agenda today is to finish my blog for the fortnight. Not that there's many recordings that I did because when I was home, Nathan was home, and I think I've said it a couple of times, um, some of the noises that come from him are not appreciated on camera. Um, but what I am gonna do is go through what I've done. Um, I think I made a clip, I did a recording yesterday or the day before, must have been the day before, um, which is I qualified at work for my second board so there's a good one with you really happy about that and I've done one shift 100% solo um, okay so a bit of an update on where I'm at if you haven't watched any of my YouTube clips for the last fortnight what have you been doing <laughs> watching everybody's lives I presume um, <laughs> no I've had so much good response to um, what I have done and put out that I'm really really um, really wanting to share with you some of the comments um, so what I was going to do is go through what I've done since the 29th of March and um, go through the comments on on them so it's just so give a better uh, where are we? Might help. I'm kind of going in the wrong spot. Um, oh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to get this right. Okay, so how far back do we go? So, the art resin on diamond painting. I've got some Why is this doing to me? Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Righty, let's start. So, um, the art resin on the diamond painting. Now, I think I've already touched on one of the comments on here. Um, Studio Sam, and I think I did mention that she... Um, she was the first YouTuber I watched for uh, when I started diamond painting. So when I did my first diamond dots, I went and Googled um, diamond painting and Studio Sands was the first one that I got, the I saw. 
and which meant that one of her tips, there was 10 trip tips in there, one of them opening up and straightening up the canvas, um, the other one was the light board. So um, I purchased a light board straight away because I could, I, you know, she was saying the difference. I thought, right, I'll give that a go. So um, Studio Sam, I'm really grateful that she actually looked at my acrylic pour, uh, my very first one. Um, so yeah, um, Kathy loves my carb. Um, yeah, that's one thing I did have was the sparkle did go with that cup, but that's okay because um, it was obviously, it was one of my first goes. So no issue there, all good with that one. The next, <laughs> next thing I did was actually the whip and chat in South Africa. That was my first whip and chat that I did for the leopard. Now this is not the whip in chat, whip, whip, whip in, not the whip and chat um, where I showed the video footage. This was um, just the one when I first started, my first time I was talking about it. Um, and I will say there was one lady, Anna Dion. She put a comment on there. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'd, l I'd rather address some of these comments personally. Um, so Anna was, you know, she'd been to South Africa for two weeks. Um, and it was, um, so they, they went to South Africa with a couple, um, loved the trip. But they apparently they were going to wait until they retired to travel and then change their minds and decided to go. And um, her husband got really sick um, by the look of it. Um, so, and I, I, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Um, but it's a reminder to everyone if you get an opportunity to do something to travel, keep do it, do it while you can, while you've got your health while you're still young enough to really enjoy it. Um, for the travel that I've done, um, actually seeing um, some people that are noticeably older and needing an, a, a big degree of assistance. Um, you get there, if they had have had the ability to go when they were younger and in better health, they probably would have enjoyed it even more. Yes, they would have enjoyed it, but they were enjoying it then but they may have been enjoying it more. So for me, I was a struggling single mum. I was, could never travel. My kids are now of an age where they've moved out of home and I can travel and I've been able to get into a good job. And it just takes a little bit of perseverance. Um, you might not see the ability that you will be able to travel. Um, and that's that's the case for a lot of people but even if you can't see it you can dream it um, and I did dream it and I've gotten there so you just do it as soon as you can but if you can do it okay so that was that one mm. now the next one after that that I did was the face marks challenge. So that was fun. Um, for anyone else that's going to go and do the ch face mask challenge, I'll give you a little hint. I actually put Nair on my face the morning before. <laughs> so therefore there was no, not even a slight bit of facial fuzz. <laughs> Hence why I don't, I think that was why the charcoal didn't hurt. Um, may have also been because I peeled it up instead of pulling it off. Um, but yeah, some good comments, comments there. Um, and yeah, that was the first time I've shown my face. Um, and I'm still, still uncomfortable with it. I'm actually looking at my computer screen and I can't see myself in the camera. I'm more reading the comments. Um, 
Tracy, DP and Crafts. Well done, you nearly dropped the F-bomb. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, there's some good comments from there. And I always get comments from Dearly Crafted, Viv S, Cindy B, Kathy, Bradley and Rachel Ray, uh, Laura Law. You guys constantly give me comments and I love it. I, I feel sorry. I don't want to, I can address each one individually, but it's more like I'll give a thumbs up just to let you know I've, I've read it. Um, and if you give a really good comment, I will actually um, go through it here. Um, Kathy Bradley makes does some amazing comments on her. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that was the face mask challenge. Then after the face mask challenge was the unboxing of my lion, the lion family from Diamond Painting Nine One One. Mm. Actually, I will. Uh, what I will do is, so I straighten that as much as I could with a hairdryer. It's now been hanging on a skirt or a trouser hanger. So when I go through um, the stuff that I have done, uh, I will show that to, st and we'll see how much whether that creasing has come out. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people that haven't seen using the hairdryer and I know I haven't seen I haven't seen anybody use it um, I have an iron but I don't like using it and the hairdryer I find that I have a lot better control of um, because I can pull that away so easily and rub it with my hand whereas when you use the iron method you've got um, a tea towel down trying to absorb it absorb some of the heat and um, there's so much risk there to me that are going to melt, melt, melt the canvas in some way. But then also, you know, the good myth, the big myth of if it's got a clear cover, it's the canvas is going to be okay. Um, as Cindy said, Cindy B says, well, there's an assumption that's proven wrong. Don't, you're not always guaranteed a clear cover. Yes, there are a lot less of a chance of being wrinkled up, but it can happen. And this clear cover had a bubble boot and it was also had an elastic band around it. So those two things are what probably went against it. If it had been rolled um, without a bubble boot and without a lackey band, I reckon it would have been okay. Um, but yeah, I, I love using the hairdryer. Um, really does make a difference uh, and yeah um, yeah the, the family yes dearly that family they look so sweet um, I don't know if I mentioned it my my son and his daughter so his, his daughter his wife my daughter-in-law um, this this if I can get the, if the canvas is good I will this will go up for them um, well I mean I'm gonna have to do a lot more work on it what I will say is, I did that on the 6th of April. Today's date's the 12th of April. I sent them an email and I haven't had a response. So I went with Diamond Painting 911 because of the DMC. Might have to put the camera up. So the DMC chart book. Um, they have a website and I went, yep, radio, right I'll give them a go. And lack of response. So that was, the diamond painting was late. They had to resend it. And they only said they were resending it after I prompted them. And they said they'd already sent, resent the other one, the second one. And the creasing of a clear, clear plastic diamond painting and no response so I won't be going with them again they did have some nice pictures but I very much doubt I'll go with them again okay and then from there the next one I did was a very special whip and chat um, that very that that whip and chat I was I started doing doing the whip and chat and then went 
what better way than to, for you guys to actually experience what I'm talking about was video footage. So I had lots of fun putting that up. Um, and Anna D on yet again, your chat's bringing back a lot of memories. Isn't it funny that the biggest and quite dangerous am animals are all herbivores, which is where we're talking about, I was talking about the hippo. Um, and even the rhino is pretty dangerous, so yeah. Um, so hopefully you're enjoying those. I will, I think for the theme of this one, I will continue to do so, you know, like I'll do a whip and chat for one area um, for each day of uh, that trip. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan going forward. Um, and you know, I do, I love sharing some of this stuff. Uh, and then from there, I went in and did the, <laughs> the art resin work. Oh my gosh. I, I love it. I love it. I'm really, really happy with the art resin. Some of the comments, uh, not that one. So that's the, my resin, resin pour first attempt. No. Hang on, trying to find it. There we go. Yeah. So the diamond painting in art resin. That should have been diamond paint, art resin on diamond painting, but meh. Um, everyone, everybody seems to love it. It's a different way to cut, to coat, and protect. Um, I am really wrapped with it. Um, I've got a, I've got the big five panel soulmates I've got to do for my son, so that's going to be a good one to do. But what I will say is, with all the work that was involved in doing it, I think it took longer for me to edit all this footage and put it all together. Um, yeah, it, it, it took me at least. I think six hours to just put everything together, um, to do my speeds, to do all the bits and pieces to it. Because uh, and that in itself was fun at some points, but frustrating at others. But um, so that's a what footage of an hour. Uh, it took me a week to do, a week to actually do the process, or just around approximately a week. And then it took me six hours to get the video out to you guys to, to, to work through it. Um, the glitter, I wish I'd put more glitter on the first layer and none on the second. I reckon that would have been better. But hey, that's all good. And then <laughs> uh, the next one. The resin pour, my first attempt on the resin pour, which Everybody is saying the comments are a lot. They like it. I mean, Mrs. C, oh my God, it looks so cool. Would, to would totally want to try this, but I fear I'd be covered in resin. I'm really good at it. You're really good at it. Um, I'm not really good at it. I'm a bit... That was meant to be a beach scene, and it's ended up looking like a planet. So I will um, talk about that shortly. Um, I did go live, and... It was a spur of the moment thing to do the live. Um, well, semi spur. I was thinking about it during the couple of days before it, and then it was like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. And then I did go and do it. So, um, so much that I would do differently on that one. Um, but the setting up of the live was just I struggled with because I had to set up the live. But I also had to mix the resin because I didn't want to be sitting there for three hours, whatever, mixing this resin up. Um, maybe I should have mixed it up on the camera because then I would have given time for anybody else that was going to join me to join in. But yeah, that one ended up looking like a planet. Quite amusing. So what I'm going to do is shift you around. And there we go. Now, here we go. So, 
I wonder what I've, what I've achieved. So you can see the leopard, and he has come out lovely. He's solid, and he sparkles because I've put the glitter on. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so very happy with that one. There's no thing more to do except put something on it to hang it. So he's good. Now this is the resin pour from yesterday. It's not fully set, it's still soft, and this is the back side of it. What we've got here is I didn't tape to stop the um, drips, so I've actually had to do a quick sanding and, <coughs> excuse me, hang on, a cup of coffee. Mm. So I have had to um, sand it down. Uh, because of the resin but this is it this is how it's ended up funny story to this it doesn't look like what it did when I turned the camera off what happened with this is that I did this on my desk um, and I had it all perfectly level and then um, it's actually, I have, a, I have a box that it's in that's all lined and all that. I do that in there so that everything ends up, if I spill anything, it ends up in there. Um, but what I did was I picked up the box, I put it, put it into the craft room where I do the resin work. And when I put it down, I didn't realise that I put it down without it being level. So I went back to check on it about 15 minutes after I did it to find that the resin had actually started dripping off the sides. So I've had to try and push it on. Um, and I've added more white to it as well. Um, I'm not really happy with it. Um, but it's not too bad. What I am going to do is I'm going to use the back side of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this. Um, the blue that I've got on here. I will tape it. Um, so that I don't get any drips on this side and I'm going to have another attempt on this side but I, what I'm going to do I'm trying to decide whether I attempt to do a beach scene or I just do a dirty pour one thing I did learn from this is so you've got the being resin it, it's, a, it's a clear and it, you're only tinting it um, you can see the flecks of blue in there, um, flecks of green. So what you've got there is, um, it's not fully mixed properly, but because it's translucent, true colours didn't come through. So what I should have done was actually put white paint in and then added white colouring, excuse me, white colouring into the paint, mix it up and then added the tint to it so that then I would have ended up with a proper representation of the colour. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's a planet basically. Um, but I will try this again. I've, you know, after doing it the first time, it's what it's all about, trial and error. So that's where I'm at with that one. Um, now, the reason why I did the live on my desk I have a tablet and I also have a desktop computer and I plan to do the live on the tablet but I couldn't get it to work and like the tablet was in the in the art room where I'm doing the resin I couldn't get it to work so the only other way to go live was two ways one to bring this out to my desk or the other was take my desktop computer into the resin where I was doing the resin work which when I did this I wasn't wasn't eager to do so that's why I came out to my desk um, which is why the distance isn't as far away okay so there's that one diamond painting wise what have I achieved so the fairy tiger with the rhinestones I think I've gotten all of this done um, this is one where I'm just, when I don't want to work on a full on set area of a diamond painting and I just want to fill in like an hour, I'm actually sitting down to this, um, 
because I can see from where I'm sitting here to the right is uh, my TV. So I'll sit um, for an hour and go, okay, I've got to go to bed an hour and I'll just spend an hour on this. So that's where that's going. I'm actually liking it. So wait and see what it compares to like for the bigger one. Rightio. Yeah. So that one on the floor. Next one. Ah, the flower cat. So <laughs> I've done this much of this one in the last two weeks. And you will see, like, I don't work on just one thing. Um, I Because I have four or five days off at a time, I need to need variety. I can't just sit and work on the one. But what it does mean is I will just suddenly complete a whole heap all at once. And it's a massive big completion and really happy with. But So that's the dark flower cap. Better flower. And the leopard. So that was the talk about day one. That was day two. So I'll do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I've got about eight days, I suppose, if I work it out that way. I've got about eight days of of travel. The trip was 15 days. I've done two. So I need to... Um, something feels loose there. Got a drill popped up. Um, so yeah, I'll um, probably have to condense a couple of days. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode of the Leopard South Africa trip. Now the other one that I've been working on. Where is the top of it? There it is. Ever moment one which is the panther and I'm loving the look of this one so there we go so that's the planets so that's what I've done as well um, he's got his ear here uh, his eyes no nah, unless I put something light underneath his eyes are somewhere around here and um, when I've got the light pad on them underneath it they, they're sitting there looking at me so that's what I've done so far. Um, plans for the next two weeks. Nathan is home this weekend. So yet again, not much recording this weekend. Um, I turn another year older this week. So we'll be out celebrating a birthday sometime during the week. Um, what else? What else? What else? I will be doing this one. I will be doing the back of this. Obviously, I'll be doing more diamond painting. Um, and who knows where the wind takes me, what I'll do next. It does so look like a planet. Thank you. Um, so I don't know what I'll do next um, amongst all the other stuff that I'm doing. Um, just play it by ear at this stage um, no plans um, I will say dearly crafted the planner that you got was brilliant and I looked at it and I went to go and buy it and went you don't plan anything properly so that's just not gonna win that's not gonna happen I buy a planner at the start of every year yeah well beginning of December every year and I usually get to about middle of January and I've stopped planning so fly by the seat of my pants okay so that's it for this uh, fortnight and uh, stay tuned for more and please it, I do read your comments I'll give you a thumbs up I give you a heart sometimes I'll actually comment sometimes I won't but if I put a get put a heart on there you know I've looked at it and I've read it and I've appreciated your comment and hopefully um, there'll be lots more for you to enjoy. Um, just hold there, there was one thing I was gonna do. Forgot I was gonna show you this. So this I've just taken off the coat hanger. So we've still got down the bottom some very, very slight. Um, but I actually do believe that this is going to be 
quite okay to work with. We've still got that one that goes up between his eyes. And you can see it there. And this one here and one here. And if I do that, you can see the ripples are still there on the canvas on the back. So um, I think for the next steps of this is um, books on top of it and just see if I can get it to flatten out that way. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at with that. I'm just, I'm hanging to do it because the detail, it looks like really, really good detail. Um, but I'm not touching it until I get those, just in case I decide to do it this under resin. I now have to treat, I'm now going to be treating all my diamond paintings as if I'm going to put them in, re in resin, which means I can't put them on stretcher bars, I can't stretch them out, um, because no matter how much I stretch them out, the resin will, you know, if, if these aren't, if the diamonds aren't flat because there's bubbles or, or rivets in the, in the canvas, um, the diamond painting, the resins are not going to go properly over top, of which I've already learnt that lesson with some partials that I did. So I'm going to try and flatten them out and see how we go with that before I can even put a, attempt to put a drill on that mine. I did put drills on it. I did the butterfly. How cute is that? Okay, so we'll leave it there. Um, stay tuned for another exciting episode in two weeks so uh, next vlog will be published on the 26th of April so please keep watching keep subscribing um, hit the bell for notifications um, thumbs up thumbs down comments all of that really do appreciate um, those of you that do subscribe to me and watch my channel um, I, I'm building slowly, uh, which is really good. I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. I've got 386 subscribers. Um, so you know that that's that's just going nice and steady. Um, I don't put much of myself on public on social media. Um, so yeah, it's I think. To have 386 subscribers is fantastic and uh, thank you for those that do subscribe. And I'll see, I'll put this out in, this will go up today. And uh, look, I'll hope you enjoy my next vlog when I put that up in two weeks. So till next time, bye.